Okay, I'm back at the farm. The Tahatsu's at the shop. It's going to be a couple of weeks before you get to it. It's all good. Trailer's back in its place. But let me show you what I did last Sunday out here. While it was cold, misty, and rainy. And I just got finished with that three-day uh, caulk job. So I grabbed Jim first thing this morning, and we hauled the Tahatsu over to the shop. And now I'm back here. It hasn't rained here in about four days, which is good. But as you can see, I still got my little mud pit. All good. All right. This used to be so muddy, now it's drying out. Actually, you can scrape the dirt better now. But, okay. You know I've got this jungle right here. And that's what the Tahatsu was for, to dig all this out. But this is what I did by hand. And a chainsaw. And about six hours worth of work. Cleaned all that area right up. Picked up every stick. Cut down a bunch of little saplings. Bunch of vines. Oh my god, the vines were everywhere. Created this one pile. But you can see it's starting to get nice and clean in here. That thing right there was a pain in the butt to cut. Oh my god. I finally got it cut. Pulled all the vines out of the tops of the trees. Cut the ones I couldn't get out. I just went ahead and cut it. And you can see how nasty some of these vines really are. They're big, thick. See that one right there? Going up into that tree? Well, I couldn't pull that one out. <laughs> it, it's up there, man. You can, uh, you can swing from that bloody thing. But back to this. So it's all nice and cut. My big black oak tree. Black walnut, excuse me, not black oak. Well, it is probably black oak, but black walnut. Another pile. <laughs> made it bigger. Made it bigger. And definitely made it bigger. So all four of these piles... Right there, all came from this bottom land right here. But it's nice and clean. All nice and cleaned out. I got a long ways to go, but man, this is a big, big improvement. Real big improvement. Okay. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. Yeah, major improvement here. I uh, I had to finally get a handle on this side of the land, the high side, uh, to try to clear up enough of this land coming towards the back of the property uh, that it start so I can put start putting some infrastructure up. That's probably the best thing to say. I got to build this fence. I like to build a little uh, run-to shelter in here and build another internal fence like some pins and cages for some farm animals. So clearing this out was the first step. Second step is still building, seeing if I could build in here and get some things uh, started. Uh, that's pretty much it. You know, put posts up, put some fencing in, put a couple of, you know, outhouses out here or you know, animal outhouses and a couple of uh, run into shelters, uh, some pens, you know, build some pens. I'm not a farmer. I've never owned farm animals in my life, but I'm going to own farm animals no matter what. It's a learning curve like everything else, <laughs> like everything else. But yeah, this is cool. Now, of course, this big open area here, my perfectly good trail to get to the back. And now cleaning up all this. Perfect. 
progress on the off-grid farm. Of course, I'm going to, what I'm doing, oh yeah, that's the other thing I'm going to do. Oh yeah, let me just show you this. I've got a problem with tractor supply. The uh, six-foot diameter posts used to be $12.99. Well, they went to $17.99. I went there the other day to go buy a few more posts, and I said, $17.99 a piece? Are you crazy? You're crazy, right? That's $5. They went up $5 a piece, so here's what I'm going to do. I got, oh, there you go, got hit by a stick. It's dangerous out here. I got cypress trees, a bunch of them. And guess what? The, per the perfect diameter. Look at that. I got at least 15 of those out here. So no problem. Cypress trees I've got. There's another one. And there's another one. There's another one. So right here in just this area, one, two, three, four, five. And there's another one over there, six. I got six right here. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to start harvesting my own posts out of these uh, the cedar. Uh, like I said, got plenty of them out here. Might as well use them. And the cedars have got to go anyway, so I might as well put them to good use. All right, let me end this video here before my camera runs out. Love you guys. More progress on the off-grid farm. Uh, my Tatsu's up at the shop. Just got off that big job. All good. Now, I've got a bunch of requests for deck staining. Because all the decks that I built last year, guess what? They're all due now for staining. And the weather's finally starting to turn predictable. All right. Love you guys. You know what to do. Thumbs up, comments, subscribe. Ring the bell for future notifications. And I'll check you guys out on another video on the off-grid farm.